morning everybody. Kim and Daryl. Some days here. Day two, sunrise. Gulf of Mexico. Right off of Ship Island. Ready for another exciting day of bringing home the boat. Stay tuned. All right, day two. Coming up on the Highway 90 bridge right outside of Slidell, Louisiana. So far, a great day. This bridge was redone after Hurricane Katrina. As you can see, the Garmin showing us the way. Averaging 10.4 miles an hour. Ken's back there just relaxing. Enjoying herself. Prince the same way. We're just enjoying day two. We're going to go over there, then we're going to head to the Twin Spans and try to get into Lake Pontchartrain. Almost home. For now. Alright, we're now coming up on the Twin Spans. This is Interstate 10 going into and coming out of New Orleans. This whole bridge section is what you saw back in Katrina days that actually fell apart and collapsed. They have since rebuilt it and uh, of course made it much better for hurricane weather. So, if we get on the other side of this we'll be in Lake Pontchartrain. If we aren't already, this may still be considered Pontchartrain. We're going to get through here, then we're going to go over to the Highway 11 bridge. And so far, so good. Uh, the uh, depth right here is 7 feet, 2 inches. So this is some skinny water coming through here. We're about 9 miles an hour. And so far, doing good. The uh, RPMs on each engine is about 1526, and we're burning right about two gallons an hour per engine. So that's basically four gallons, four gallons an hour right now with no generator running. But Kim's over there just relaxing, taking a nap. We've got the autopilot working. So that makes a big difference when you have an autopilot. I'm going to get through this bridge and we'll pick you up on the other side. Hey, day two. All right. Highway 11 bridge and the Basquiel Railroad Bridge. Opening it up for us. We're going to go through here. This is one of the two bridges that you have to go through Lake Pontchartrain to uh, to get over from the uh, east to the west into Lake Pontchartrain so here we go Ain't this special? So you got the railroad bridge, Highway 11 bridge. The railroad bridge usually stays open 
but the uh, train just went through and it closed right before we got here. So day two, Kim and Daryl's getting the boat home. Day two in the afternoon, the infamous crab pots, the Lake Poncha train, causeway in front of us. That'll open up. We should not need an opening as we're not tall enough, but any big sailboats or anything, that drawbridge will open up. But this causeway here goes from the north shore of Mandeville, uh, the town of Mandeville, all the way back to Metairie, or basically north New Orleans. So this is one of the longest clear span bridges in the United States. It's over 24 miles long uh, with no land in between it. Uh, this is a toll bridge. It's toll going southbound and free to come back. And uh, one of the uh, great places to go across if you're ever in the area. But still on uh, day two. Hope this windscreen's working. We're just uh, monitoring all these crab traps, making sure we don't run over any of them. Alright, going under the causeway bridge. This is day two. This drawbridge is closed weekdays from 5.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Won't open. This is a busy, busy place going from the North Shore to the South Shore. Now we go into the other side of Lake Pontchartrain. We're going to head over to Lake Morpaw. Don't know if we'll make it today. You can see the fog is already starting to roll in on this side. It's a little foggy conditions already. It's only 3 o'clock, maybe 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But anyway, on we go. Some days here. Sunset over Lake Pontchartrain. There will probably be no green flash. I've watched a hundred thousand YouTube videos and never saw a green flash. But anyway, this is the sunset over Lake Pontchartrain. Day two of some days here. <laughs>